Hello viewer, how are you all? Hope everybody is doing well. As always, came with a very important issue. Those of you who are in Malaysia, many of them need to send money to their home countries, such as Bangladesh, Pakistan, Nepal, Philippines etc. We have to face various problems with sending this money. So today we will see the solution to this problem. Let's go to the main episode without further ado. Not to mention those of you who haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe. Press the bell icon next to it to get all kinds of updates first. You can easily send money to your respective country anytime any day through Instapay remittance. You can easily send money to any part of the world whenever you want with your own hands without any hassle. Let's see how to send money to the country through remittance from Instapay. For those of you who have not yet set up an account on Instagram, the link will be given in the description box. If you want, you can register online. To send remittance we need to log into Instapay. Then go to remittance option. After going to the remittance option, you have to add the beneficiary there. The person to whom you send money is called the beneficiary. To add a beneficiary, we must first click on the create beneficiary option. Then we have to give the first name. In this case, if someone does not have a middle name or last name, then there is no need to give any other name. Must be blank. Then you have to give the relationship. Then you have to give the mobile number. There is no problem in not giving mobile number here. Then you have to pay the whistle. You have to pay the city in which the beneficiary lives. Then you will see three options here. If you want to send money to PIN number then you have to select cash pickup option. Remember one thing, if you send money to cash pickup and you have given wrong beneficiary's name, you can contact it office and corrected it. If you want to send money to bank account then you have to select bank deposit option. If you want to send money through Bcasa rocket then you have to select mobile payment option. Remember that in case of Bcas, the person to whom you are sending money must use exactly the same number and name as the account number and name used when opening Bcas account. Otherwise the money will not go. If you do not know the correct name, you can contact the office to find out the correct name. Then you have to click on submit option. In this way you have to add the beneficiaries using the correct information. Once the beneficiary is added, we will click on the beneficiary name, then we have to pay the amount in the house. After paying the amount, you will be able to see everything here. How much is your total charge? How much money will be sent to the destination? Those of you who send remittances from Bangladesh will get 2.5% more than the amount shown in BDT's house. Then you have to click on the fund source option and select the source of your income. Then click confirm. If all the information is correct then click on the click box, then click on transfer now. Finally you have to give mpin. What is mpin? There is a video on how to set it up. We will give the link of this video in the description box. You can watch it if you want. This way you can easily send money from Malaysia to Bangladesh or its respective countries through Instapay remittance option. Please comment to know more about Instapay. Thanks for staying with us.